Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Going to do a shotgun video today. I've been asked by several of you guys to do more shotgun videos. So I've got one for today, just a short one. Going to talk about how to open up your pattern without changing the choke tube. So say you've got an older shotgun and it doesn't have choke tubes. Most modern sporting shotguns nowadays have choke tubes as this one does. But let's say you've got a, a shotgun for whatever reason that's got a fixed choke. Maybe it's an older shotgun, something that was handed down to you, or something you got a good deal on, or, or maybe you just prefer a fixed choke shotgun. But you, there are instances when you'd like to have an, a more open pattern. Let's say you've got a full choke, fixed choke shotgun that you can't change, or a modified fixed choke shotgun that you can't change. Those are nice for your more distant shots. But if you want to take that shotgun, say grouse hunting in a seven year old clear cut, your shots are going to be very close and very fast. So you need that pattern to open up a little bit uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one being to increase your odds of a clean kill with that larger pattern. And number two, with a full choke at close range, if you shoot a small animal like a grouse or a rabbit with a really tight full choke, it's not going to be fit to eat. Uh, you're going to destroy it. So, uh, so you want that pattern spread out a little bit. So I have got a full choke installed in this shotgun. And we're just going to leave the choke alone. That's the only choke that's going to be in that shotgun today. Up first, I need to demonstrate how full choke, uh, full choke patterns at close range with uh, standard target loads or you could use these for bird hunting as well. These are a, a target load, pretty popular target load. Winchester double A's, two and three quarter inches, 1,250 feet per second, one and one eighth ounce of number eight shot. So let's take a look at how that patterns at say 15 yards. I'd prefer to do this on a patterning board. Most of your skeet and trap ranges have a patterning board set up so that you can go pattern your shotgun. But at close range like this, I think I can manage to do it on that 16 inch steel plate over there. We're at 15 yards. This is a full choke and just a run of the mill target load. All right, so as you can see here, that pattern measures about five and a half or six inches, the core of the pattern. And that would just destroy, you know, a, a dead on hit on a grouse or a rabbit with that is just gonna destroy it to the point you won't even be able to enjoy it. And just for reference, this target is almost 16 inches in diameter. It's about 15 and three quarter. All right, so up next, we're gonna shoot one of these. This is 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, one and one eighth ounce of shot, 1250 feet per second, and it is number eight shot. So does that sound familiar? That's the same specs that were on the load that we just shot previously. You saw what a small pattern that produced. These are called power spreaders, Fioki Exacta target loads. So what's the difference? Let's shoot one and find out. Got one here. Got kind of a translucent, transparent shell casing. You can see the shot in there. So let's put it on the target. Okay, so we've got the same full choke installed, same shotgun, shooting the same target. The only difference is the shot shell. So let's see how our spreader load does. All right, let's take a look. We've gotten a much more usable pattern here. Our pattern covers pretty much the whole 16 inch plate. That's probably a 15 inch usable pattern there. And you can see the pellets are spaced enough 
where you're going to get a clean kill, you've increased the size of your kill zone by a large margin. You're going to get a clean kill, and that small game is going to be edible. You're not going to have some kind of unedible rabbit spam after, after shooting a, a close-range rabbit. So what we've effectively done here is went from a full choke to a cylinder bore without ever changing our choke tube. So that could be handy in a number of ways. A cylinder bore, by the way, out to its usable range will spread about one inch per yard away from the target. We were 15 yards away. We've got roughly a 15 inch pattern. So that's a cylinder bore pattern, but fired from a full choke. So what, what was different? How did it do that? Let's dissect one of these shot shells and take a look. All right, it's starting to rain, so it's trying to rain me out of here today. But I've cut the end caps off of both of those shot shells. You can see they were both, the shot looks pretty much identical. But here's the difference. See that shot cut? That's your standard target load. This is your spreader load. Look at that shot cut. It has a post that comes up and separates the shot into four separate shot columns. So it disperses the shot as it's pushing out, out the muzzle. See if I can pull this wad out of here and show it to you. There's just the wad itself. You've got that post. There are different types of spreader loads on the market, and there are several different ways that people have come up with to spread the shot once it leaves the muzzle. So this isn't the only style. This is the Fiocchi style. Poly wad and some others uh, have different different ways of doing the same thing. Pull that standard wad out if I can. Well, this is just a standard Winchester double A. You can see the big difference. But So it's raining. I'm going to have to get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found it uh, useful and hopefully I was able to demonstrate the difference. Sometimes I fail, I'm not the most articulate person in the world, but I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks to all of you guys, and I'll talk at you again soon.